Hey, my name's Jay Cannon. I play Holmes and Frank on the upcoming sitcom, Friends of Fiction. And my name's Chris Lefevre. I play Josh on Friends of Fiction. I joined because I, I got this audition, or I did the audition and I thought, you know, I've never really done a lot of behind the scenes, so why not hop in and kind of learn more about it while also getting kind of the chance to see my character behind the scenes as well as they kind of develop it in the writing room and other aspects. Yeah, um, first of all, I love being on this production. I was uh, scouted by our executive producer, Consi Nelson, um, after our work together on football play uh, last spring. And um, it's just awesome to be able to see a fully fledged production go from like start, idea, forming, pre-production, all the way up to the end phase of submitting a final piece. So it's just been really awesome uh, to work with a great cast, crew, uh, and everybody involved, and get class credit at oh, the yeah. same time. Oh, yeah. Help me graduate. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I've been an actor for over 10 years. A lot of it's uh, stage, theater. Uh, that's my background. I have an uh, undergrad program uh, in theater and dance here at Missouri State University. Um, was there for a few years getting my bachelor's and, and so most of my experience comes from the stage but a lot of that also translate translates onto the camera just because Frank as a character is pretty realistic as a, as a human being I think from my perspective just the way I play him uh, he's not that different than who I am so uh, I can just kind of make a different version of myself and that's who Frank is yeah I never really, I'm kind of new to acting in the grand scheme of things. I've only been doing this for a couple of years. I've done a couple like supporting role stuff on short films, working with some of the people in the MJF department, but I haven't really been able to do any like sitcom -y stuff or anything kind of funny, which I enjoy trying to make people laugh. So I'm excited about this, but it's definitely going to be new and I'm, I'm really excited for it. I like meeting a ton of people that I don't really know. Like I said before, a lot of my uh, background is with the theater and dance department, and so it's been awesome to meet a lot of other folks um, from other realms of entertainment and media, folks that are into sound design and camera work and um, lighting for screen instead of for stage. And there's so many different aspects that when you work in one realm of entertainment for so long, it can be easy to overlook what's going on in, in other mediums. So it's been really nice to, to make connections and have fun doing it, you know? Uh, not every class has to be a lecture or bored in class, you know what I mean? And so it's been it's been awesome to be a part of this so far. I've actually had the chance to finally like work with some of these people that I've met. Like I came into this, I came in a little late, but I came in knowing having like slightly worked with some people and now I'm actually getting the chance to like work alongside them, see how they work and just kind of see different aspects. It's a couple of people I had different types of classes with. So you see how they work in some aspects and now we're starting to see how they work in like the film side of things and behind the scenes and all that. Yeah, and it's, it's also awesome to see like how multi-talented everybody is. Uh, we all have different roles within the production. Start this right guy, here. ah, this guy, this guy. Uh, and, and it's just cool to see like, oh, actors can also be writers, or cam ops can also be scenic designers, or, or anything. Or marketing leads. Or marketing leads, anything. And it's just awesome to see people kind of um, spread their roots out a little bit and get some more experience in, in other realms, yeah. Yeah, I know I get to do lighting and sound, which I haven't really done before. So I'm, I'm excited to do that on top of, I didn't really coin myself as a writer. Now I'm kind of part of the writing team. Yes, get you are. Oh, yes, yeah. you are. Well, a little bit behind the scenes on Josh. You know, I get to make my own character a little bit. Nice. nice. But, yeah. Uh, yes, I do play two characters. And, um, <laughs> you know, what's fun about that, I've played multiple characters in um, other productions before, and there's always kind of a challenge to it in, in terms of finding your own range as an actor and making sure that they're very distinct from each other, even though Holmes and Frank are, are brothers, so they have some similarities, but they both look like me. So I have to make them different enough um, so that they are both compelling characters in their own way. What's fun about that is Frank is a lot like me. Holmes is a lot like who my brother thinks he is, but isn't. So it's fun to kind of bring out that, um, a brotherly hatred. Um, I love my brother, but uh, he's my older brother and I'm the better one. 
so <laughs> it's nice to just bring that all in together uh, on screen because those real life experiences always add more flavor text to the character and whatever you're doing. So it's just been really awesome to pull some of my own experience into the roles that I play. I don't play two characters, but one of the recent changes to my character is that he kind of has an internet persona, which is very one dimensional, kind of kind of dumb, kind of bimbo-y, which is gonna be really fun. And then you kind of see his real personality, which I get to actually pull some of the drama in there too, a little bit, along with it overall kind of fitting my same personality as well. So I get to do these two personalities and kind of hype it up with the internet persona and then bring it back down for the other side of things, for like the real persona, but that'll be, that'll be a challenge, but I think it'll be fun. Our chemistry is a little bit dysfunctional. If you have the promo picture, pull it up. <laughs> There's... So in the, in the pilot episode, Frank is looking for roommates, right? That's, that's our, our main plot uh, mover. And Chris here, Josh, is... Kind of a pain in the ass. Kind of a pain in my ass. Um, I am the noir detective, kind of grungy guy, and Mr. Reality Television over here loves Love Island, bruh. So it's Dramatic. a little bit love-hate. Um, how would you describe it? You kind of did a really good job with it. You know, you got Josh overly trying to be helpful, or not helpful, but I guess kind of helpful. In his but, own way, yeah. yeah in, a, in a version, um, but there's definitely that, I think you're very annoying, I'm gonna keep trying to be your friend. It's kind of just back and forth. Um, I don't want to spoil too much. There is a little bit of a, a shift change. There is, yeah. It's, I would say the best way to describe it is like high energy and low energy, um, almost odd couple-y in a certain sense. Uh, At but least with the internet persona. With Right. It starts to be a little bit of a change, but if you see some of the stuff that happens in the show. But you'll find out this yeah. summer, May 2023. Ha <laughs> ha!